I know that there are some areas that have been proven more than others. Can you kind of share with us, like, what are some of these, some of these different ways that people could cope their difficult times in their life? Uh, Well, you know, there's a psychologist I really admire, and her name is Dr. Marsha Linehan. And she says that although there are an infinite number of problems in life, if we sort of sit back and think about it, there are not an infinite number of solutions. In fact, if you really think about it, we could make an argument that there's three main ways to cope with any problem. And maybe I could even take you through an example. Let's say the problem of the pandemic. How does that sound? Oh, I would love it. Okay, so here we are in the midst of a pandemic. And now the first way to solve a problem is for, is well, problem solving. I love problem solving. If we can solve a problem, I am all for it. The thing is with the pandemic, it doesn't appear to be easily or quickly solved, or at least I myself personally am not in that position to be able to solve it. (laughs) (laughs) I'd be your best friend if you could solve it. Yeah, we could. Yeah, if we could snap our fingers, I bet you and I would have snapped our fingers and we would have solved this a long time ago. (laughs) Actually, everyone in the world, that'd be one thing we would really all agree on. (laughs) Absolutely. So that's problem solving. Now, sometimes you can't solve a problem to to the point of our conversation just here. The next way is to change um, how you're feeling. And now sometimes this can work. For instance, I think at the start of the pandemic, many of the folks I was talking to in the therapy room were sort of shifting their thoughts to those of gratitude, to be able to spend more time at home, uh, maybe with loved ones or more time with family. I don't know if that's something you've noticed uh, and people you speak with. Absolutely. Now, it's tricky because the thing is toxic positivity, which is where people try to turn all thoughts into positive ones, is actually not helpful and can make things worse because it can be really invalidating. And then we start to deny the reality that things are really, really hard right now, especially as what I think at first I thought was a temporary crisis uh, continues to stretch on into the foreseeable future and really becomes our new reality. So that brings me to the third way to cope, which actually many of the people I see uh, in the therapy room are telling me is the most helpful way to cope right now. And that um, is acceptance. And so we can certainly talk more about what is acceptance um, and what is change. And if I was going to boil it down even further, I would say there's two ways to cope. There's the acceptance-based ways, which can include mindfulness and just seeing reality as it is. And then there's the change-based ways, which include changing how we feel and um, problem solving. And before we dive into that deeper, maybe I'll just note that this way of thinking is part of a dialectical worldview. And what is a dialectic? It just means that every thesis has an antithesis and they can come together in synthesis. And so the primary way of looking through this dialectical lens is to balance acceptance with change. And so what that could look like for me, for us personally, is to note that we're all doing the best we can and we can do better. Now, why is that? If we only focus on doing better, we can start to feel really bad about ourselves. And paradoxically, that might make a harder for us to get stuff done. If we only focus on accepting ourselves, that can feel great in the short term, but we kind of never get to the life we want to be living. So I really find that it's all about acceptance and change. 